G'day, Paul from Democast Media, helping you get the picture and make an impact with visual communication. So in today's vlog, I want to point out this ongoing trend that I'm seeing, the convergence of uh, voice and digital assistance with video conferencing. This is all part of unified communications. Um, so this is an article from the 20th of November. And the reason uh, I, I want to raise this is because it's a growing trend, which it's going to affect the way that you do your job. Um, th this is going to drive um, future innovation. Um, businesses are, are sort of dipping their toe into this. And if this is something, if, if you're interested in um, keeping your finger on the pulse of these developments, this article will be of interest to you. So this is from the 20th of November, um, 2018. Amazon brings Alexa integration with Skype to Australia. So this is specific for Australian viewers, and I'm from Australia, if you hadn't noticed from my um, accent. Make and receive calls on supported Echo and Fire devices. So this is really cool. I love the idea of using, being able to use a voice assistant or a, a um, one of these speakers that you can you can talk to them and, and it, and it um, answers questions or you can get it to execute a task for you. I love the idea of it being able to execute a video conference call uh, or to use it hands free as part of your uh, video conferencing. So if you're further down here um, in this article. So Alexa can now, so from here, Alexa, Alexa can now connect to your Skype account, allowing you to use Alexa as a voice controller for Skype, uh, which is really cool. Uh, it goes on to say, after you've connected your Skype account, Amazon Echo devices will be able to make and receive hands-free Skype calls. And uh, Echo Show and Echo Spot are able to make Skype and video calls. I'll go on to this tab here. Uh, so here's an example of an uh, Amazon Echo Dot, a smaller version of what you might be used to seeing. Uh, and here the Amazon Echo Spot uh, White. So these ones here, I believe, have like a, a visual interface there. So um, all these devices are coming together to make it easier for you to get started with a video conferencing um, so what else does it say here so it says here with millions of users on Skype this opens up potential market for Amazon for the Echo Show as a simple solution for video calling um, and the author says here I'm thinking of setting it up so my parents can stop wrestling with the app on their tablets so um, this is a growing I'm noticing this more and more is that as consumers buy into uh, these digital assistants and as the technology gets better you're going to see more of these integrations happening um, we're going to be in from a, in our personal consumer point of view these things will become more commonplace um, almost like you know we're living the the life of, of, um, of the reality of, of like the Jetsons from that cartoon voice activated commands being able to, to do this and that um, this is also part of internet of things as well um, where everything is just molding into one um, now and this also uh, this was reinforced today to me as I went to a conference hosted by Panviva and they do knowledge management tools and um, the one of the presenters was using the Alexa device to um, ask a question the Alexa device was integrated with the Panviva platform, which is a knowledge management piece. And, and Panviva's solutions are made for um, people in the workplace, uh, in, biz in a business setting. So it's, it's this crossover between what consumers are, um, the growing interest from consumers, that's going to drive how we do things in the workplace um, and this this is very consistent with um, a drive towards um, messaging applications like whatsapp or facebook messenger 
businesses are getting more interested in Australia in you know how these things work. You know, starting to play around with these like the way businesses used to play around with the idea of social media. You know, if if you recall back in the day, how had a bit you know there was a time where social media was like well this is just that's just a place for people to catch up with their friends and to share um, their their pictures with grandparents. Um, but now, obviously now. It, it's it's taken much more. It's been taken much more seriously. That you can see the benefit on the bottom line, um, and it's really mainstream for businesses to to be part of social media. It's just part of the mix. I believe this stuff that we're seeing now, the businesses are starting to you know take an interest in. It's going to be part of the mix, and so it's, I think it's important to um, to te- keep pace with these changes because as i learned from today's conference at pan viva that um taken from jack welch's quote if um the pace of change the pace of a change happening externally from a company outpaces the change internally uh, the end is near the end is nigh uh, i really hacked that that quote there but from jack welch so um Tell me what your thoughts. What do you? Uh, ha- what's been your experience with Alexa or Google Assistant? Um, what's your experience with using those devices? Have they been a benefit to you? Have they been accurate enough for your liking? Um, have you used it to actually initiate one of these video calls? I'd be interested to see if you're an early adopter of these things and, and your experience with that. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and, and leave your feedback. I'll leave you questions. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but this is purely for me to be able to document what I'm noticing right now, which is this ongoing trend towards unified communications, which encapsula- encapsulates um, visual communication tools, which, which is what I really love. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We're approaching Christmas, as you can see here. Really exciting and happy, happy time, hopefully, uh, for you and your family. So thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.